Hello, it's Eileen here, and I want to show you three different ways you can leave a review for Ron's book, The Amendment Killer. I'm going to start with Amazon because it seems to be the most popular. Um, now, with Amazon, well, first, we're, let me tell you, we're going to go through three platforms, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and The Amendment Killer. With each one of these, you need to have an account, which you may or may not already have. It's easy, and any of them, you just sign up with the username and password, um, but you cannot leave a review if you don't have an account with, with any of those platforms. So to begin with on Amazon, we are going to search for the amendment killer, and you'll see that we have a few options. So I'm gonna search in books, and right now we have the paperback, uh, I'm sorry, we have the Kindle, or the paperback and the Kindle. And at the time that I'm recording this, we don't yet have the hardback, but by November 1st, if you're watching after that date, you should have a third option. So what we're going to do is click on the paperback and you will see if I scroll down there's a lot to scroll through that I can leave a review. Now, because the book is not yet published, Amazon and also Barnes & Noble do not allow you to leave a review. So right now, if you want to leave a review, that's um, appreciated, but we can't do it on this platform. But I'll show you how to do that in a minute on Goodreads. So let's look for a book that we know is published. How about The Firm? And if we scroll through all the little good things Amazon gives you, sometimes you feel like you're at the end when you're scrolling, but it's just, um, it's called a lazy load. And as you scroll, new things are added to the page. So we come down and here we have almost a thousand reviews. So I'm going to write a review and give it five stars. And I'm going to say, uh, great read, very entertaining. And hopefully your reviews will be more um, creative and thoughtful than mine. And then say, it's a yes. All right. And then um, if you wanted to add a video or photo, you could. If you're reading the book in some exotic location or in your favorite chair or a hammock, feel free to upload a photo. But I am not, so I'm just going to submit. And there you go, the five stars. That's great. So um, that is pretty easy and straightforward with Amazon. And a quick reminder that the book comes out on November 1st. So if you're watching this before November 1st, you will not yet be able to read a, a leave a review, but as soon as the book is available for purchase, then you can start leaving the reviews. So thank you for those. Now, Barnes & Noble, sort of the same thing here. We're going to search for the amendment killer. And I just wanna show you what you'll see right now. You'll see an overview and as you scroll, we'll get the related products, which is always really fun. And then you just come to the end. So there's no opportunity to leave a review. So again, I'm gonna pull up the firm. And I'm going to click on it. just loading maybe a little bit slow because sometimes while I'm recording things move slowly let's try again so we get this nice view and if we scroll customer reviews to write a review, give it five stars, and say this book 
was a joy to read. And I'm going to, I should probably create a pen name because that one's kind of a basic inner, you know, review. But anyway, I'm going to submit the review. It's saying that I'm a guest, which is surprising because I am logged in, but that's fine. Um, let's see, did it work? Submit a review. Okay. So then let me get out of this and I'm going to take you to Goodreads. Now Goodreads is awesome right now because it's before November 1st and they let you leave reviews because they know many of you have an advanced reader's copy um, and you know you're sharing with your friends and so it's awesome. Now here on Goodreads you can see the stars right below the book, right below where you say, I'm currently reading, I want to read it, or you can put it in your own personal shelf. So I'm going to give this a five stars. And then when I do, you'll see I've already left a review. So, but it will, you'll get a little dialogue box that allows you to leave a rating. I'm going to, uh, just like the others, I'm going to find a book that I have not reviewed so you can see that little link. So I'm going to give it another five stars and then you'll get this dialogue box. Thanks for rating. Write a review. So I'm going to click right there And then, you know, Goodreads is really a social platform, so you can add things, you know, when you read it. It's kind of nice you remember. Um, and then I'm going to save. And there you go. Here's, here I am. So hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, uh, let us know. And thank you so much for your time and your efforts. It's greatly appreciated.